Good morning from Udong Thani in Isan, North East Thailand. But today we're going to be checking out the markets, the sites in the city, and most importantly, the food. Now, as you know, when I arrived yesterday, I'm only staying for two nights. I'm moving down to Konkien. And I'll do the same there. I'll do the travel day, show you what's like getting down there, show you my accommodation. And then, where's he going? And then, uh, yeah, I'll show you all the sights around Konkien as I move further south to Songkran. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. When I arrived yesterday, we've never seen the travel day, and the accommodation is great. It was really, really good. I slept very, very well. The shower is amazing. It's nice as you sit on the balcony at the back, even though there's no view. And it's really cheap. So, yeah, check out the travel day. But right now, let's check out the sixth largest city in Thailand. As soon as you see a Pizza Hut, McDonald's, Burger King, Starbucks, you know you're in a big city. Now Google Maps, I come from that direction yesterday and it said I could walk through that old Macca's bush, bush yard and get through that gate. I walked through when it was dark and a dog was that close to getting me. It was so, so close. I never seen it coming and then as soon as I heard it, it was right next to me. Quickly clap your hands and they're away. But God, it was so, so close to getting me. Google Maps, you've done me in again. I was loads of markets in the city. I had a little walk about last night just to check out where I could do for a day. And you got a big food uh, a food court, like a bar area in there. I saw owned by one person. And then there was a great market that I seen just up the road that I want to show you tonight. There's Burger King. You'll get much better food on the street. There's big lotus, uh, big lotuses, uh, big seas. You got all the computer sections, all the computer shops up there. All the guys on the the bamboo bamboo uh, ladders fixing the power lines. There's a few market stores out already. They're doing fry up grilled bananas, grilled sweet corn. It's one of these streets, I can't remember which one it is. You'll see them on a daytime and they'll be totally different on a night. Yes, it is this one. Uh, all there's rows all the way down and then it goes to the left and the right and it's really good really good and there's obviously bigger markets which i'm going to go to now i'm going to head to the the railway market i'm i'm, I'm told or a google reviews have told me that that one's one of the biggest in udon tani but the one tonight you members have 40 50 stalls and it was really good last night it was really good Cafe Amazon, you get them everywhere. Big shopping centre over the road. There's an old British style telephone box over there. I'm not sure if that's a hotel. Or a shopping centre. The Monta Montalip Hall. I've had a lot of comments of people telling me that they love the content because it feels like you're walking on the street with me. That's my main objective. That's why I try not to turn the camera on myself too much i changed this a couple of months ago so it's great to hear please keep the comments coming in it's amazing to hear it gives me such a boost of confidence
Vespa garage. I do like the Vespas, but prefer the uh, the Lamborghatas. That my mate's got in in uh, Kanchanaburi. That's a nice one. Norman's just got himself a Honda Click limited edition. That's a nice bike. So so cheap as well. I think Norman's was about seventy thousand. And with that you get a year's insurance, a helmet. Well this is like a, I think it's like a Japanese food court. I went through there last night. But that's primarily just Japanese food. I think it's Japanese or Chinese, I obviously can't read the writing. There's a KFC. Food on town food centre. And there's a railway station. I want to have a quick look here. I do like the old look at the old train stations. And this looks like a good one. Always loads of food vendors outside the train stations. Obviously your tuk-tuks. Again, going to Conkent tomorrow. The trains come through at 8 o'clock in the morning. But then I'll be getting into Conkent at 10 o'clock in the morning. It's about two hours. I don't want to be in the city at 10 o'clock in the morning not being able to check into my hotel or my apartments. So I will be getting the bus again tomorrow. And the bus journey yesterday, to be fair, was good. Even though the axles felt like it was going to fall off the minibus, it was still a good journey. He got us from here to B. And he was a good driver. And had a good seat, most importantly. I do love the old style train stations. But I suppose they're building the new ones for the future. There's all your bakery stuff, donuts, dried fruits, crisps and what have you. I do get some funny looks with this camera. Information board. This is uh, Nankai to Nakon Rachisima. There's a train station. Let's go and see if we can find the railway, the, the railway market. Now I've just walked past the market and it was all closed up. I'm hoping that isn't the one from the reviews that I've heard and from Google Maps. It says that it opens at 10 in the morning. It's just turning 12 now. Is it turning 12? Actually, it might be a little bit later than that. I stopped off at the 7-Eleven for uh, electrolyte. What these places seem to be closing up? Or is he open? No, he shut it and then opened it up again. Football boots, fake trainers, oh, flashing lights, and move on. That must be just opening up. I think this is centre point. And I'm hoping, oh, I'm hoping next door is a railway market. This way. I've got a few comments asking about why I wear my sunglasses when I'm indoors and why I'm wearing them when I'm eating. Uh, it's because of the prescription. 
and I don't wear them, I can't see. So yeah, and talking to people as well. It's supposed to be disrespectful to talk to people with sunglasses on. I've got no choice, I can't see them if I, if I don't have them on. My clear prescription glasses got broke when I was in uh, Kowiak, Kowlak. So yeah, it's not a, it's not to be disrespectful. It's not to look cool. It's because of the prescription, that's purely it. I will try and find some more, but for now, these will do. So this is the railway market. It seems to be very, very sleepy at the moment. And I want to find something to eat. Wow, it is quiet at the moment. Like I said, this was supposed to have opened up by Google reviews at 10 a.m. two hours ago. But you get a general idea of what it's going to be like on the night. Thriving. As it is, it's just laid to I need to find somewhere else to eat. That's not what I'm looking for this time. It looks like it'd be good on a night time. There's plenty of seating, plenty of eateries. This could be a long vlog. I've got a loads to show you today. You say it's a big city. Let's go and check out what this food court has to offer. 39 degrees in the early afternoon. It's supposed to go up to 41, 42. Yeah, it's a hot day today. The food's just on the other side by the looks of things. This is salted fish, clams. Burgers, fifty nine, sixty nine baht, thirty nine baht. Crinkly oven chips. There's a big stage there, so it'll be good at times on a night. I'll make a couple of choices and I'll let you know what I got. I said I don't want this, uh, this vlog stretching out too long so I want to show you so much. Tell you what, it's all in that market, it's all seafood or rice dishes and I wanted to get, try and get something different. Uh, so yeah, it was, a, it was a struggle because I don't like buying seafood from a street food stall. Like fish, so yeah, seafood, any any seafood. Every time I've done it, I've had a bad experience, I mean, really bad. So I'll head towards my next destination, I'll find somewhere on the way. A nice curry or something like that. It's up to 40 degrees now. I've never seen one of these before, so I had a look around, it's like a little supermarket. Well, it's an international one, Villa Market. The Thai, French beef, all seafood, a lot of international foods. 
and it's really expensive. But we're just to cool down, get a bit of air come for 10 minutes, have a look about. All the fresh fruits, there's all sorts in there. Loads of wine. If you're a wine drinker and you're in Udontani, head there because there was any amount of bottles. Happy Chinese New Year from last month. This is the Thai Chinese Cultural Centre. Looks a pretty place, just to have a little walk around. Probably plenty going on. Fountains. Nice buildings. I'm sure there's a big lake at the back. We shall see. This is the Nusa. Nusseri Garden of Faith. Some really nice decorative temples. Nice to just listen to the wildlife. Very quiet around here. Must be so much time taken building these. Here's the entrance to the gate. My camera is feeling like me right now, extremely hot. Oh, it's big. Zigzag along. Oof, that's nice to get a bit of shade. That's a lovely look. See the fish jumping. So peaceful walking around here. There's the cultural centre, that's a museum, it's free to go in, you can just give donations but I don't want to be really going into a museum today, I want to be showing you the sights. The old rickshaws, still get them in use, there's like Nepal in one of you, India. And the bikes, they're still in use in Chiang Mai. Oh, look at all the car. Nice. It's got a feeling of Bangkok about it. Maybe just because it's a big city but not as busy and not as built up. 
food everywhere. No, see on a hot day like this, if you're walking about, the tires are all hiding out the sun. And they're used to it. I always wear long sleeve tops and my hat. And my legs are used to it, to be honest. I've got my trains on today because I'm putting, on a, putting in a few miles. like a wet market <laughs> 20 baht for two sticks of sweet corn cooked 20 baht for the fruit 40 I'm not keen on them I don't know what they are but I'm not keen on them that's a good price 20 baht Tomatoes, chilies. As always, fried chicken and uh, processed sausage. I've got a box of the pineapple. It's too good to turn down for 20 baht. Nice and refreshing on a hot day. You get that everywhere. Now I've had someone messaging me on the on YouTube for over a month. And I got a message up last night saying, Do they not do electrolytes in Thailand? Have you been watching my vlogs? Someone tells me you haven't. I'm always mentioning the, the electrolytes. I can't highlight them enough. Royal D, 7 Eleven. Watch my vlogs, you'll know. <laughs> oh my lord, we don't have any electrolytes in Thailand. Seen this yesterday. What is this contraption? Now, what's it put in there? I've got no idea what you use that for. Obviously, you stand on the back. It's even got a front bumper. That's a mean machine. Oh, I think it's a little shit too. Here's a beautiful clock tower in the centre of the city. Five past three, 42 degrees. I've been out just over three hours now doing this vlog. I'm loving walking about the city, it's really nice. There's not a lot of places to open to eat at the moment. So I'm struggling to get something. It's all noodles and rice. I wanted to get something different. A nice green curry or a red curry or something. Or something more Isan. Well, it's a lovely walk around the city, it really is. A really nice city. Brand new tuk tuks for sale. That's a beauty, that. How much are we talking? One, two, five. Can't see any price on there. to 130 cc our beauties <laughs> 20 cab how much for this? 155 125 up to a 155 cc
thousand. Uh huh. No, no. How much food you want? One thousand four hundred pound. Cook in one cup. Oh, thank you. You should be showing my friend. Cook in one cup. So for the one five five, the most expensive one. One thousand four hundred pound. Can't go wrong for that, can you? That's the one thousand five hundred pound when you're in business. Not if you're, uh, not if you're not tired though. Get yourself a tired girlfriend and set her away. <laughs> I'm going the wrong direction from where I want to be yeah. but I just wanted to show you this Landmark Plaza This is like the architectural thing in the city Looks nice and the sun is beaming Actually the longer Tuk Tuk's the one with the bigger trailers I've just been looking in the brochure to give me they go up to 200 cc and also the ones with the trailers on the back they're 200s as well but there was no prices for them in the, in the brochure let me just give you a general idea 1400 pound one of the tuk tuks brand new it's a beauty like you'd never get anywhere near a brand new bike in england for that in the uk the idea you can be in business And you got these old bad boys. These little bikes are alright. Got no idea what CC it is. 35,600, uh, 900. About 700 quid. can't go wrong at that or little disabled vehicles same price or less just less than 700 quid 700 pound for a brand new bike can't go wrong at that Ooh, nice bakers they sell just cakes or big cakes thought I'd get off the streets and come for a walk through the park walk around here I'll show you some of the bits not kicking on the outskirts then I'm gonna have to head back and get in the aircon for a bit before we go to the night market and then we'll get some food some lovely what are the temples shrines in the city I'll be honest, it's full of his history, Udon Tani. It's all museums, uh, temples, shrines, monuments. Well kept, very well kept. It's what he got. Well, this must be the part of the city where all the governmental buildings are. I walk past the customs office, the treasury. It's all depicting the different times of the year, the different years of the, the animals. There's a cow over there, the tiger, rabbit, the dragon. All the different ones. I think I was born in the year of the dragon. Is this closed? Surely not. Oh well, gates locked. Again, another lovely building. 
Well, I've noticed about who done Chinese. It's a really big Chinese influence. And I, I don't know if I've been anywhere like a city and seen such a, Chi um, such a big Chinese influence. The, the temples are everywhere. I hope these aren't landmine flags. <laughs> <laughs> this is just at the other side of the park. Right, I'm heading back from the aircon. I've done seven miles, just over 11 kilometres. See, yeah, it's been a tiring day. It's really now been 43 degrees. But I've loved it. I've loved every minute of it. Just nice walking about, seeing the different people, seeing the different things. Another city, another city I've loved, I've really liked, I've really liked. Now let's head off to the night market. Ooh, hot off for a bit. It's about one and a half miles back to my accommodation. And it's hot, it's hot. I know I've said that a few times. I do apologise. 1,900 for a mattress. Trying to head back in the shade. Nice little bottle of orange juice, fresh orange juice, 10 baht. You know what them deep fried balls are. A richer bike. Six thousand baht, really? Oh, that's cheap. That's like 130 pounds. That must be on instalments or something. 130 pounds is very, very cheap. Just before my accommodation, big C. Much needed vitamin drink. Get the beach all vitamin C. And I think I've just found a dead wasp's nest. Should have sold them in the market, they'll deep fry them. <laughs> and we're back at the night market. Now I've got no idea what this night market is called because silly ass here left his phone at home. Left his phone in the left his phone in the apartment. Well, what part of the pig is that? I've got no idea. Then people are just going to walk straight into me. <laughs> I was just thinking about something earlier, that really tickled me. When I mentioned about my sunglasses being prescription, obviously because my clear ones are broken. And when I went to a restaurant yesterday for the chicken and rice, the lady turned the lights on for me, and the food comes out, and I put my sunglasses on. <laughs> she must be thinking, why the hell have I just turned the lights on? If I was her, I'd have went and turned the lights back off. I was busy than what I expected. Six o'clock now in the evening. Obviously in the evening. Hello, Swaddy Carp. I am very, very good, thank you. Lovely people. Both crack run. Now a quick heads up. What I'm gonna be getting here, I seen last night. And I thought I'm having them. And it's not Thai. One thing is going to be Thai. You've seen it before, so we'll have to quick heads up. Now this market's cheap. You know, it's 10 baht for chicken pork, uh, for pork and chicken sticks. Oh, that looks amazing. That really looks good. Lasagna, spaghetti bolognese. So I'm not feeling like lasagna. 10 baht sticks for beef and chicken, uh, pork, sorry. Spring rolls, tofu. 
There's insects, crickets, mealworms, flies. If you want to see me eat them, check out the Borough Room blog. Hey, Sam. There's still a few flies kicking about, but absolutely nothing compared to when I was in Lau. I'm talking about two or three flies there. In Lau, you're talking 100 plus. Like, there was loads that were covered. Pancakes, waffles. It is a cheap market. It is a cheap market. I've got to say that. Those sunglasses. Ladies' paraphernalia. Sushi. Ten baht a bit. You get them for five in other places. That's your squash vegetable squeezed into a tight block. Not sure what they are. There's some sushi. Sorry, Carp. Gyoza. Oh, sorry, it's only gyoza. That's covered in different sauces. Ten by each. That's already processed stuff. I'm going to the ice. Those are desserts I usually like, but I've eaten too many of. Sick of myself off. Ready made beef, chicken, pork, all in different curries. Crispy pork, ladies just preparing. 70 bottle box. The body carb. The pineapple I had earlier, really nice, really good. The 20 baht that was a steal. Packs of brownies. They can't be 10 baht, surely. Go on your right, sorry mate. I'm going too slow, I won't let people fast. There's already chicken that's being boiled, that doesn't look good to me. Packs of salmon and salad coffee oven chips not easy to get all the potatoes here in Thailand see the little Thai girls snarl her lap and the boyfriend snarled that said he was about 20 years old some 30 years old when I I'm getting one of them, slicing one of them. I haven't had pizza in a while. And I'll show you what else I'm going to get. It's down a different aisle than another aisle as you walked in. <laughs> one mushrooms, fish. All different spices there. It was one of these I walked past last night and it was only six, uh, eight baht for a stiff. I got a couple of them last night, they were really good. Four baht each, for a little fillet of chicken. Uh, I'm not sure what they are, they're like little patties. I can't see it being with potato. They look very, very good. My sweet tooth is kicking right in. There's coconut desserts, sweet corn, sweet carb, sticks of chicken, six bath. This is the first. Sticks of chicken, and pork, crispy pork, six by each, little sausages, already ready made meals. Podka Powers, uh, chicken with the Birrani rice, these like crispy cakes, uh, the dumplings, I'm not sure you're watching that sausage thing, 
I'm going through a lot here, aren't I? Sorry, <laughs> Carp. Well, there is a lot of different things here. A lot of different things. Noodles, the beef, chicken, and sausage. All in different ones. That's like a doughy texture. I got some when I was in Bangkok. I didn't like them at all, to be honest. Oops, someone just walked straight in the back of me. Slow down. Yeah, grilled, grilled uh, bananas. Seen them earlier. That's the other thing I want down here. Salmon, packs of salmon, with some salad. Different fruits with sticky rice, and different, uh, three different coloured rices. Oh no, it's not different fruits, it's just mango. Just three different uh, sweet rice. There's your packs again. Rice, chicken, pork, spices. Pretty much a pad kapow. This is what else I'll be getting. A burger. We we'll look forward to getting a burger. I'll be back. <laughs> no idea what I said. Clams, cockles. Uh, obviously, crispy pork. The different coloured rices. Uh, coconut. All coconut products. Wow, I'm surprising myself, but I know what all this is. Right, there's one. I don't know what that is. Is that a blood orange? No idea. I'll be back here later as well. They're like a Chinese pancake, crispy pancake, with a different fillings. And these are what I love. The little coconut pancakes. I absolutely love them. Coconut 60 baht. That's a being a smoothie. Yeah, it's really good. Really good little market. Not too big, but compact. And they've got everything you want. Chicken kebabs, 35 baht. That's cheaper than Kanchanaburi. I think you have different sizes. Small, medium and large. There for the small ones. Sausages, I got a couple of them black ones last night. Really good. 10 by each. Uh, spare ribs. Different uh, flavoured chicken. Deep fried chicken. There you have it, an extensive review of the market, which is, if you do come... Chicken burgers, 45 baht, pork burgers, 55, beef burgers, 75. Pause that, you can see it, can't you? I like the look of that. Sour burger. And they have all the the meats stacked, like the balls of meat. See what well, you see in the pack there. But she just put, put, puts it in a ball and cooks it straight away. I think they're all pork burgers. I haven't done mine yet. This is an order before me. But yeah, I'm getting a cheeseburger, big cheeseburger, 85 baht. This is about two pounds. Freshly made, really good. I've got my pizza. I've got a bolognese pizza, a slice, for 25 baht, just over 50p. Alright, let me just show you what I got. There's no good place to do this, there's no good place to sit down with the camera around that, around that area. But I got, I'm going to eat this next, but you are eating pizza, I just want to show you it. So good for 25 baht. Nice bolognese pizza, 25 baht, it's just probably just over 50p. I got the pancakes, them little coconut pancakes, 20 baht, so it's like yeah, 45p or something like that. And a burger, the pisto resistance. Now I'm just sat opposite Burger King. And you never get a pizza burger like that in Burger King for two pound. Freshly made in front of you. Amazing. So happy. Oh, damn, pretty dry. 
so happy with my purchases thank you for watching please like subscribe as always share with your friends if you think it'll be interested in the content i love you all have a good day from udontani